Welcome to this AgDrive video tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at how we can invoice through AgDrive whilst being linked to QuickBooks. So to start with, what we, what we can see here is our jobs page on AgDrive. So we can actually see each job has a particular job number, the operation, the customer, what date it's been completed on, the fields that the operator's been in, who the operator was, the billing quantity, and whether that job's been completed or not. And you can filter search every single job on AgDrive, whether it be by the job status, the particular customer, the operation that they've done, the invoice status, the operator, and also the date. And you can also download any of this information in Excel for your own information. But as we can see here, we've got jobs that have been invoiced already and jobs that have been approved. So the reason why we have this approved button on AgDrive is essentially to say that some form of management has checked over that job to say that that job is ready for invoice. And we can actually do this by clicking on an individual job or doing it from the side here uh, next to the invoicing tab where it says approve or we can actually click on the job and we can view this job we can actually edit any of the details because we haven't actually approved the job yet as soon as you approve the job you then cannot edit the job because we've actually approved it ready for invoicing don't worry you can still edit any of the invoicing details uh, at, at a later date, either in the invoicing section or in QuickBooks when we send the invoice as a draft to the customer. So it's got all of our details on here that we're quite happy with in regard to what the job was. So it's a bad stat drilling job, who the operator was, what vehicle implement he was driving, how long he's been there, the fields he's been in, the billing information, any extra information all in there, fuel usage, time records, any notes and photographs can all be attached onto there. We can also download the PDF job report for this particular job an example of a pdf job report is on screen now and also we can actually press approve for invoicing directly through here as well as on the the jobs page so we're just going to press approve for invoicing now and as you can see this job has been approved for invoicing and if we go back now we can see that this job is also approved in, on the uh, jobs page so to actually go and invoice a job, since we've actually approved the job and said it's ready for invoicing from a management point of view, we'll just go to invoicing in the bottom left hand corner. And this will then load up our QuickBooks API. So if we had any invoices that we'd already sent um, through AgDrive, through QuickBooks, it would, it would be displayed here. But to actually add our first invoice, we're just gonna press add in the top right hand corner. This is then gonna bring up all of our approved jobs and then when we click on a particular job for a customer, it will then automatically filter search this customer for all of his approved jobs um, that are ready to invoice. So we can go down and tick the box for these for multiple operations as such to actually invoice. So we're just going to press preview invoice. And then from here, we've already got our customer linked to our QuickBooks contact because we've actually imported our contacts directly into AgDrive when we first set up our account. If you're unsure about how you actually integrate your account, I would go to our account software um, video where we're going to look at how you actually integrate your, your account. But from here, it's just a case of because we've done this cultivation top down in job, we can just select this and this is this product and service is coming directly from your QuickBooks account. So any of the prices that you have already in your QuickBooks account software, it would automatically put in the unit prices, it would put in the tax rates, and it would also allocate that invoice to the right chart of account. So in theory, you should save up to nearly half of your accounting fees because all of your invoices are actually allocated to the right chart of account. And we can do the exact same for fuel, for fuel usage, for example. And we can also add and delete line items in. If Say if you've forgotten to put something on a particular um, invoice, you can actually do that directly from your QuickBooks products and services. So what I'd suggest you do is that in terms of your setup, you should have your products and services very similar to how you have your operations in AgDrive. And we can do the exact same for these, these two jobs here. And what we can do as well is that it'll automatically put in the due date. We've got our payment instructions already from our business settings. If you would like to change these settings, just go to the top right hand corner, go on accounts and then press business. You'll be able to change your settings all in there. And then as well, prior to actually creating the invoice and sending it as a draft to QuickBooks, we can actually attach and generate our PDF job reports. 
that will automatically be linked to our QuickBooks style of invoicing. So I'm just going to click generate and attach job reports. So now, as we can see, we've got our PDF job reports attached onto this particular in well, this invoice that we're about to send. So now we can just press create and this will then send the invoice to QuickBooks as a draft. So it'll sit in QuickBooks as a draft so we can edit any of the details if we wish again. We can also edit any of the unit prices in here if we wish, but again, it's all entirely up to you in terms of you know how you want to set your prices and do your quantities. So we're just gonna press create now. And then because we pressed create, it's then already drafted up this invoice now ready for sending to the customer. And again, we've got our PDF job reports already attached on, on this particular invoice. As we can see now, so this is just an example of a, a top down in job that was done. And we can see it, it, it's there ready for the customer for proof of work. You've got full traceability now between yourself and the customer as there's no, no arguments over a bill anymore as every, every single job detail is, is in black and white and it also makes you look like more of a professional service as well. So this is now a, a draft invoice in, in QuickBooks. So all we have to do now is very simply, we can have a put in the terms and then press save and send. And it would go in your QuickBooks style of invoicing again. And if we go into our invoices, we can see that we've sent this invoice already to the customer. So if I go back into AgDrive, I can see that I've already sent this invoice here now and all the job details are now linked here. So in regard to, we could actually see, view, go and view the jobs directly on AgDrive as well. Like so. And we can go back and actually view and see automatically if these jobs do get paid, it will automatically be logged in QuickBooks and it will also show um, at this side on your AgDrive account as well. And you can also click on view and it would then open up your QuickBooks um, account again and show you the invoice as well. Thank you very much for watching this AgDrive video tutorial on invoicing with QuickBooks. If you have any questions or queries about what's just, just been discussed now in the video, I will leave our contact details in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.